Cancer does not just affect the body, it affects the mind, body and soul. So just treating the body is not good enough. Cancer treatment must comprise of treating the body, mind and soul and that is only possible if one is able to adequately counsel the patient and counseling is the most important component of treatment well before the treatment starts. So I strongly believe that counseling which is not a part of medical curriculum in this country which is not a part of postgraduate training for medical oncology, surgical oncology and radiation oncology postgraduate degrees must be part and parcel of this uh, you know, medical curriculum and the postgraduate degrees assessment. Because in the West, no matter how good you are, if you're not able to counsel people well in the examination, you will fail the exam no matter how good you are. And it is absolutely vital and I'd like to take this opportunity to request the powers that be to introduce counselling in not only in the medical curriculum at the MBBS level but also at the postgraduate level because that is absolutely crucial. And we have established as a foundation, Ushalakshmi Breast Cancer Foundation is celebrating five years of positive eventful service to the community of Andhra Pradesh and we are very proud that we are the first dedicated breast cancer support group in this state and ASHA which is a wing of Ushalakshmi Breast Cancer Foundation is led by none other than Padma Shri Awardee Ananda Shankar Jayant who is spearheading the activities of the foundation which aims to link people, which aims to give psychological and emotional support not only to breast cancer survivors but also to their families.